Right, some popular holiday shows in Milwaukee are feeling pinched this season. Arts groups are still feeling the roar of the Lion King, which wrapped up a record breaking run in late fall. Here's our Vince Vitrano. In nature, the lion is king of the jungle. In the arts community, the same is true of Disney's Broadway show. When the lion comes to town, he eats first. After taking in $6 million at the box office in Milwaukee this fall, the lion didn't leave many leftovers. It's an enormous number. I mean, people gasp when you think of $6 million worth of ticket sales. Michael Pink is artistic director of the Milwaukee Ballet. The Nutcracker opened just two weeks after the Lion King moved out. For the ballet, that presents a real challenge. And you do think there were people that, that made that choice that uh, perhaps passed on your show or another because they had invested in perhaps taking the family to that very pricey show? I do indeed, because I mean, very, people have to be cautious about their dollars. I mean, we all do, we all do. There are very few of us that really don't have to worry about the impact of that. If you spent $400 going to the Lion King, that's a chunk of change. That may be the $400 you would have spent elsewhere in the city. Merry Christmas to all here. Milwaukee Repertory Theater is in its 39th season of staging A Christmas Carol, a treasured Milwaukee tradition but also an important revenue generator for the rep. It's also about 10% of our operating budget. So in terms of finances, it's incredibly important. Now you, so you have to have a good run. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The rep hears the lion's roar as well. Some tour bookers reported the Disney show cut into holiday sales. When the calendars come out, you look at that and be like, oh, Lion King? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. We did, we did have a first draft of our budget, and uh, when, we, when we found out that the Lion King was going to be playing opposite of A Christmas Carol, we actually went back and reforecasted our budget mm -hmm. because we knew there was going to be an impact. Skylight Music Theater thinks Lion King impacted their holiday show as well. They're offering 30% off tickets to Wizard of Oz. Most families only have so much disposable income, so if they spend it on the Lion King this year, maybe they don't go see A Christmas Carol or A Nutcracker. Lee Lane Pine is with the United Performing Arts Fund. UPAF puts annual ticket sales for its six cornerstone groups combined at $12 million. To think Lion King did half that number alone is staggering. On the other hand, you can kind of look at it as a gateway to an appreciation for live theater, or for the performing arts. And that's the positive outlook our local groups are taking. So one of the things that the Lion King did do, and I'm very happy about it, is it introduced theater to a large number of people. It was a large group. Nearly 100,000 people saw the Lion King. The locals are now more concerned with what those patrons will see next. The Lion King comes but once in a blue moon. The Nutcracker will be here next year, Christmas Carol will be here, the Skylight will be performing the symphony. We will be here, but that's, it, we do need their support and I think hopefully people will be inspired uh, to come and want to support us. The hope is the Lion's short-term challenge presents long-term gains for local performing arts. In Milwaukee, Vince Petrano, today's TMJ4. And A Christmas Carol already finished its run Christmas Eve, but The Nutcracker still has shows tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, all great shows. And The Wizard of Oz runs through January 4th.